Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these pop-up animations uh, using Auto Animate and um, at the end of the video I will also be telling you how to convert these designs into CSS and for that I have a really cool uh, resource that I made myself uh, a couple of years back and I'm gonna show you how to implement that resource and actually get this design running on an actual website. So for this project, we will start with a normal web artboard, a standard web artboard, which is 1920 by 1080. And um, you can name this to anything. You can name this to home or whatever you like. Uh, and first of all, we will cr uh, be creating two different styles of uh, pop-ups. One is material design uh, with a slight a bit of parallax effect as well as a modern design of a uh, pop-up so first of all let's create quickly create two buttons two identical buttons so we'll just copy this over just like that and um, here uh, for both of these i'll give them this a similar style 12 pixels of rounding and uh, also obviously we will give this a separate color as well uh, one will be purple let's keep the other one um, say a red or a pink yeah this is fine and we'll put these in the middle as well so now what what we have to do is just quickly place text inside this saying uh, pop up right so i'll just say pop up one and the other one will be pop up two so we'll just quickly make this white and make this uh, font a little bigger about 60 pixels 60 points actually and make this a medium font uh, perfect just place this in the center just similarly for the second one we'll just say pop up too and we have our buttons ready you can add uh, shadows if you want to these buttons the shadows always work well with buttons so now that, that we have these buttons ready let's work on the actual pop-ups if i Double click on this artboard and say command D or control D. I can duplicate this artboard. And as you can see, uh, we have two buttons here as well. So for an overlay, we want to have a uh, background which is dark. And um, make sure this is a black colored card which covers the entire width and height of this artboard. And we'll reduce the opacity by 50%. So 50% opacity that is. Uh, you can. Uh, you know make this a blurred background by just enabling pop-up uh, object blur but we're not going to be doing that or you can also enable background blur to make sure that the background is blurred out uh, but that's something that we're not trying to do in this tutorial um, so let's just leave it at the default settings perfect um, somebody pointed out that i'm not saying perfect enough so i'm just going to say perfect more now um, here uh, if I say R, I'll be able to create a quick rectangle, but a rectangle is not what we're trying to do for the first one. Uh, for the first one, we want to have a polygon. Uh, for the first one, first of all, we want to have an ellipse or a circle, which is uh, pretty large. Make sure it covers quite a bit of the area. Um, I'll tell you why I'm doing this in just a bit remove the borders and uh, just leave it just like that and here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, quickly create a text and say uh, want to use this I'm probably gonna skip this part so that uh, you can get we can get to the good juicy part as soon as possible okay so now that we have the text I've just skipped to this part where I have the text I have this text area or this uh, so as to say area text and just a normal uh, text field here, want to use this. And we'll quickly create a button which says done um, so that you can exit this area. And I'll make sure this button is similar to what we had outside uh, in, the, in the artboard. So it's to maintain a level of consistency. So I'll just say done and I'll make sure it's capital. And let me just make this slightly smaller, perfect. And I'll make this um, purple again, you know, just like the outside box, perfect. And I'll put the, this done inside this box and just group this out, perfect. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a triangle, right? For that, we will click Y 
just click Y on your keyboard and it'll select the polygon tool and just drag and create a quick triangle. I'll tell you what we're going to do with this in just a second. Uh, now that we have a triangle um, in the center of this, make sure it's big enough. It's not too big, but it's big enough. This is the state we want this to be, but for now we want this to have four sides just to make it a square. And we'll just rotate this just to make it a normal standing square like this. Just increase the size until you get the entire area uh, of the pop-up. And just place it in the center just like that. Perfect. And you can remove the borders if you want. It's not a necessity, but I'm just going to remove the borders just for now. Yeah, you can get a feel of this design. And what I want to do here is from the layers panel on the left, make sure you select all the elements that were in this. So make sure you select the button, the text, and the entire circle behind this as well. And hold Command Shift M to mask this. Now we have a perfect, uh, you know, pop up, so as to say. Now what we want to do is we can quickly also adjust the border radius. I'll change this to 12 from here. Polygon tools have a good uh, border radius um, function as well. That's pretty cool. And uh, as you can see now I have a border radius. So this is supposed to be our final design. Uh, now we'll work on the secondary design. That means the second uh, position or the second action of the artboard. So, Again, auto animate works in stages and we'll use the time transition for this one. So here what we want to do, uh, do is make sure that this text is actually hidden. So we're just going to say command comma to actually hide this text. So this will be the second state and immediately the text will appear just like this. You can hide this button as well, but for now we'll just go with the text. Uh, now what I'm going to do is copy first of all this background, which is the dark background, to the first artboard. Uh, as you can see it's copied but here what we're going to do is click command or control comma to hide this again uh, whatever you've hidden there'll be this little i uh, cross i symbol right here so you know it's hidden and um, we'll also bring this entire element which is now a mask inside here so in this case what i'm going to do is this circle has to become very very small and by very, I mean close to about 50 pixels. Earlier it was more than 1000 pixels, but now it's gonna be close to 50 pixels. Once I've got that, make sure it's centered out throughout the artboard. And for this um, triangle, which we converted into a square, we will reduce the number of sides. So from four, we'll go to three, just like that. Just gonna hit enter and it'll convert it into a triangle. All I need to do is make this triangle small as well. Not as small as the circle that we did, but pretty small. I think that should do. And make sure it's centered out throughout the artboard as well. Um, unfortunately, if it's inside a mask, uh, it can't really, you can't really center this out with the given functions. So once we have this, make sure uh, that you, know, you can't touch it like that. For that, what I'm gonna do is just select it right here and make sure the opacity is zero. So the actual artifact should have zero opacity. And now let's go ahead and prototype this. If I say pop up one and bring the arrow from left to right to the second artboard, I can say tap. Make sure auto animate is on. Ease out, we're gonna change this to ease in out for that material effect and uh, duration we want a 0.8 seconds. You can reduce it to 0.6 if you want, but for now, just for the pleasure of the effect, we're just gonna change it to 0.8. And the second artboard also, we'll just bring it to the third artboard and say tap. Uh, from tap, we'll change it to time. Now make sure you've selected the artboard and this, uh, the name of the hard artboard is actually highlighted. If it's not highlighted, that means you haven't selected the entire artboard. Uh, you can also select the artboard from this artboards panel on the left. Now I want to say time, a uh, delay of uh, about zero seconds, we don't want to delay it, auto animate and ease in out we can make this sh a shorter delay, 0 0.6 seconds. Uh, now let's try this out, that's all we needed to do, that's all we needed to do. So let's try this out. Uh, if I go to preview right here, somebody told me you can even desktop preview by saying command enter. 
and that is right. Control enter or command enter should work on both. So if I click on pop up one, wow, that was awesome. That looked like a parallax, 3D parallax effect. Uh, it's a you know a little different take on the actual uh, you know material design. Uh, to bring it back, we we'll just click on this done button and bring this arrow back to the first one and uh, tap ease and out 0 0.6 seconds that's fine make sure auto animate is always on i'm going to touch the scan uh, now that's beautiful uh, we can make this a little smoother by making sure that the um, animation timing is slightly shorter so make sure it could, you can be 0 0.6 seconds as well let's try this out now uh, that is a good animation i like how it's 3d and it kind of pops up without being like an obstructive pop-up um, again, we will be doing a CSS version of this, so uh, stick to the end of the video. Um, now for the pop-up 2. I would also like to give a huge shout out to Vishal for making this awesome, uh, attempting this awesome design in Adobe XD uh, from one of my old designs. Also a huge shout out to Avinash Kumar for making, uh, recreating my animations and practicing uh, every single day. This is how you get to the top by practicing every single day. Appreciate it. A pop-up 2 is much simpler uh, as compared to this. All we need to do here is just drag this home and put it uh, below this, right? Now here I want, uh, if I, Double click on this artboard, I can see that this rectangle is hidden. Just unhide this by clicking on this eye. And um, here I want a light background. So rather than having a black fill, uh, I'll give this a light white fill. Uh, and also increase the opacity by a little bit. Perfect. Uh, you can either do dark or white depending on the style of pop-up that you're trying to create. This one's a little modern, so just giving it a white background. Here I want, again, a rectangle. Uh, this time we're just doing a simple square, right? And um, I just want to place it in the center of this artboard, towards, slightly towards the right, just like this. And I'll place a text over this saying, want to use this, question mark. And make sure this is uh, a dark font, so maybe black and Roboto is selected, I'll just change it to light and I want a really big display font yeah just like that make sure this lies above uh, this rectangle or square so just so as to give that modern uh, kind of appeal to it and um, I'll remove the border and let me give this a little bit of shadow as well just the default shadow should do uh, here I want another piece of text. What we're going to do is we're just going to cheat a little bit and double click on this text here and copy it over to this. Okay, my battery is a little low. And here what I'm going to do is create another rectangle, first of all, uh, just to say exit, right? Um, make sure it's uh, protruding out of this square area as well and just place this exit in the middle just like that and make sure this is black not white and uh, make sure the text is white not black perfect here i will place the text that we just copied and since this is an area text we can just uh you know readjust this text just to fit in this module a little bit you know change the width and the height as well place it right here now that we have this design ready, all we need to do is duplicate this square. Just select this square and say Command D, Control D to duplicate it and bring it to the top. Uh, we just want to, you know, mask the text below, which is the main text here. We, we just and also the rectangle just behind this. So make sure we're selecting the right rectangle, which is behind this and say Command Shift M or Control Shift M on Windows. And there we go. Um, as you can see it hasn't retained the shadow but you know we're just gonna give that up a little bit right here um, now we have something and we'll just place it below this text and this exit button as well uh, now all we need to do is copy this portion all these elements onto the first one 
Uh, now you might be seeing a trend here. I make the final design and then place it onto the first artboard where the design will function from. And that's because it just makes the entire flow much easier and much faster. I'll just say Command V to copy this out. And um, here what I want to do is place the text above this portion and make sure it's 0% opacity. Here also the exit should be 0% 0 0 on the height and um, also we will not decrease uh, the opacity here at all. We just want a simple, um, you know, a zero height element, just like that. And this text or this, uh, this mask, what we'll do is double click here, make sure that the rectangle which is masking it kind of comes in, bridges in. So what this will do is it'll just make the text disappear and it'll come out when this rectangle becomes taller. See how it just disappears. I'll also decrease the opacity of these elements as well. And for this one, we will create a middle uh, area as well. So just bring this one here, this artboard here, and just hold Option and just drag it out. That'll copy it over once again. Okay, for the second artboard, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hide all of these uh, in their original positions. Exit as well, uh, the height of this will be zero or close to zero and just be 0% opacity. And for this one, we will just bring this mask and make sure that the height of this rectangle is about, I don't know, 1000. That's a little too long, uh, a little too tall. Let's just bring it to, um, I don't know, 739, that's fine. And um, I think that's all we need to do. Just double click on this and let's try this out one more time. This appears and then this appears. It's pretty interesting. You can reduce the timing just to make it slightly snappier. But as you can see, we have created both of these. And in the original D Adobe XD file, which I will be linking down in the description, uh, which you can download, um, this is simple, white, but slightly more refined, uh, what I've created. And I've also given a dark mode for this. What's better than dark mode for some design, right? Everybody goes crazy for dark mode, right? So. Uh, as promised, I'm also going to give you a resource and tell you about a resource that I made about three years back when I was still into web development or web design. And uh, if I go down, um, this is uh, basically a library which you can implement into your web projects today. So Material Light Animated, see how this comes up? It's not the same parallax effect that I created there, but the resources are there and you can play around with it. I even have an iOS one and modern dark animated as well. See, that's as simple as that. And it's very, very cool, very nice. And all vanilla HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, nothing else, no jQuery, nothing else. And I actually have a GitHub page for this. So um, GitHub, uh, B-O-P, Beauties of Pop-Up. And uh, here you can see how it's, it's super easy to implement. All you need to do is download this. And once you download this and uh, go to the index file on that folder, you'll be able to reach here and test this out as well. And for that, all you need to do is link the CSS file, which I've included in that download folder and uh, link the JavaScript as well. And just implement those things in HTML. So for each material light I've given, material dark I've given, all you need to do is implement this into your HTML and implement the triggers as well. And that's it. You don't need to um, change anything. You can even uh, add an on-click trigger just like this onto your HTML um, as well. So this is a free resource I made a couple of years back. Didn't really catch up. Just a couple of people, you know, started and forked it. But, um, you know, this is for you guys to use. Go ahead, go crazy with it. A super easy implementation like a little uh, framework for your designs i hope you guys like this design tutorial if you did i post every thursday and every monday um so regular uploader go ahead and subscribe to my channel i appreciate that also hit that bell icon to get notified about all my video updates and also hit like on that uh, like button and i'll see you guys in the next video god bless